Okay, to save a Word document, you're going to go to File, and in here you have an option to save or save as. If you click Save, you can choose your place. So you can choose OneDrive, which is the cloud, or you can choose Browse, which will bring you to your File Explorer. Your File Explorer looks like a little yellow folder with a blue pin in it. And I typically always choose Documents. And if you don't give it a name, it will automatically take the first word that it finds in the document that's typed up. So we're going to change Alt to um, Word Document September 12th. And I'm just going to click the Save button here. And now it is saved. You'll see that it now says Word Document September 12th. You know that the name, if the name is up there, you have saved your document. Now if I make any changes to this, so I hit the Enter button and I'm just going to type whatever. If I go to close this down, it will ask me if I want to save the changes to the Word document because I've changed it since I clicked the Save button. So I would always click Save if I were you unless you made changes that you know you don't want to save. Now I'm going to click the X because I'm going to show you something else. If you wanted to change the name of this, you've already got it saved, but it's not the right name. You made a typo or it needs to be changed, the name needs to be changed. You're going to go to File and Save As. Save As is where you can change the name. So again, you can choose OneDrive, which is the cloud version for Microsoft or you can go to Browse, and I'm going to go right back to Documents again. Um, you can choose from here where you want to pick. You can go and save it to your desktop, your downloads folder, your documents, pictures, and if you have an external USB um, connected up, you can choose that. I have mine selected here, so I can save it to any of these external folders that are on my USB folder. Um, now I'm going to change the name to Shortcuts. Now I'm going to hit the Save button and you'll notice the name changes up there to Shortcuts. So now I have that saved. Um, I'm going to close it down. I didn't make any changes since I hit the Save button. Um, and it, when I do that, it just closes down perfectly. Now if I want to open it back up, I click up my File Explorer double click on the shortcuts and it opens it right back up again and say I wanted to make some changes so now I want to save that I some people do this and then hit the save button here but what I always do is to click this save button here this little floppy disk is going to be your best friend so you save this always as you're going throughout and making any changes to any documents, make sure that you save save your work because you don't want your system to crash and then everything is lost. Alright, save. Okay, now that I've saved it, the hate the floppy disk after I made the change, when I go to close it, it'll just close automatically because it is perfectly saved.